Happy Sunday, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Mika. I'm so glad that you're joining with me today for my Sweet Tea Talk Sunday. I am serene right now. It was a beautiful day. I have some smooth jazz playing in the background. The kids are in the bath. And now it's mommy time. My new mommies out there, you know that that time is so, so, so precious. But I have to say today was a beautiful day. Even yesterday was a beautiful day. I had a wonderful, wonderful weekend. The weather was gorgeous. It was like between 67 and 70 degrees. So I was able to just don something really thin, something comfortable, no big jackets to lug around. It was awesome. And I hope that you guys had a wonderful day where you were and a wonderful weekend where you were. I'm so sorry if you had bad weather and I'm sorry if you didn't just have a good weekend. So maybe we'll try again next weekend. But for me and mine, oh my gosh, quality time was everything for us this weekend. We spent so much time with the children. It was amazing. Everything was geared to them. Um, Saturday we went fly kites. We went ride bikes. Of course, that was geared into my exercise routine. I am on it, guys. I am on it. And we also took them to the park to play around and today my sister and her boyfriend joined us today so we had another fun filled day with the kids outside just running around riding bikes again and to treat myself my husband actually took me on a little bit of a shopping spree so kudos to Linton yay but I really did have um a good week previous no illnesses thank god um I really stuck with my um, my exercise regimen, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, my exercise regimen, and of course I didn't lose any pounds, but I did lose one inch, <laughs> that's one better than none, inch on both of my arms, check out, I'm getting that sculpt guys, I'm getting that sculpt, I know you really can't see it in my shirt, but hey, but I am sculpting my shoulders, and I love honestly just doing the basic routine without any weights, just using your body weights. And the 30 day challenge for the button abs, they really do use your body weight to help you with those exercises. And I really am feeling the burn, believe you me. I woke up this morning and um, my stomach was on fire. But hey, that's okay, that's how I know it's working. Summertime's gonna be off the chain for me. So I'm excited to report to you guys that Last week, as promised, I was on my grind. I was successful in losing one inch on my arms. I haven't really lost anything yet on my legs or anything, but I am seeing results. Um, and honestly, my husband actually told me, he said, wow, you look like you're losing weight. And I was like, well, I'm not really losing weight. He said, well, you look smaller, especially in your legs. And I was like, thank you. There is an exercise, God, that something is working and someone is noticing it. And even my mom, I'm sorry, I'm rubbing my eyes. It feels like something's in my eye. Oh, well. Um, and even my mom told me, you know, it looked like I was shedding a few pounds. So I'm excited. And, you know, you're always your worst critic. But, hey, when other people see it and other people notice, that just gives you that extra boost of confidence that, you know, we all like to hear people noticing a difference in you and your, um, especially when you're putting so much effort into your exercise regimen. So I'm excited to that. Applause, applause, applause. And all of you guys who are out there still on your grind, I know we lose focus every once in a while. We lose hope every once in a while. But stick to it. You can always come back to your regimen. Hey, there's always another Monday. There's always another Sunday. You can say, I'm just going to start over. One thing I, I, I have to reflect on um, was um, Mass on Saturday evening. And the pastor that visited our church actually said that during the Lenten season we tend to sacrifice and we also tend to do more meaning more praying or you know more community service or things you know of that nature and then he said of all those things that we sacrifice you know we tend to sacrifice those things for 40 days and 40 nights and then once Easter has come we expect to fill more soulful, more uplifted, and more rejuvenated within our spirit. And he said something to me that really stuck to my spirit, and it was, but all of those sacrifices and extra things that we did sometimes tend to be a means to end. And that really wore heavy on my heart because it's almost like, okay, you do all of that for 40 days, and then what? And I was like, okay, I get that. 
So this week I'm actually going to continue with my Lenten sacrifice and my Lenten prayers. But I'm also going to try to change my behavior into making sure that it's a lifestyle. It's not anything that is going to end at Easter. And I think with that mentality, and I hope it touched other people's hearts and mass the way that it touched mine. But it really just made me think that, okay, after the 40 days, am I still going to be able to sacrifice? Am I still going to be able to have those prayer moments, those minutes of solitude that I'm just feeling of the presence of the Spirit with me in my prayer? Or can I just do that every day? And I'm thankful that I got that message because it taught me something to even instill in my children. You can really push forward for something to get a result, but how much more of a benefit can you get actually if you tend to extend that further than just your goal and maintain that? So I hope that kind of helps you guys out with what I was explaining, but I really did like that message today and it did make me realize that, hey, life is an ongoing process, even though we have those bursts of excitement and those bursts of moments. And they do tend to end some things we can continue to push forward and strive for. And um, with that Lenten season message, that is definitely something that's going to be incorporated in my lifestyle. So just had to share that with you guys. So, of course, always on my Sweet Tea Talk Sundays, which I don't have any tea today, surprisingly. But um, I will, after I calm myself down just a little bit more, I will have my vanilla honey chamomile. But I want to show you guys some things that I got this week. I'm so excited. Um, of course, my husband took me on a shopping spree and he has really gotten me so spoiled with rose gold. I have to show you this beautiful necklace he purchased for me. But of course, with us being from New Orleans and being close to home, he got me this beautiful Fleur de Lis rose gold pendant. And it has a 24 inch chain in rose gold. Isn't it just beautiful? And it's done in rhinestone. And this centerpiece actually comes out. This is so gorgeous. So since I have gotten this piece added to my wardrobe, I have added to it from my lovely store, Charming Charlie's, I got some accessories. To go with it so I got this piece which was absolutely beautiful and I also got this piece with my pearl that I absolutely love I got that piece and then I got a really cute bangle bracelet with the butterfly on it to match so I always like to wear my jewelry in a set, especially since my wedding set is white gold. I feel kind of awkward um, wearing other pieces <laughs> that aren't the same gold as my wedding set. I just feel off with it. I don't know if anybody else can like feel weird with mixed metals, but I'm that girl. So whatever. But um, I also found another piece that my sister picked out. And this one was really pretty. This is this ring. It's just a row of baguettes. And of course these guys were on sale so I was very excited to get these pieces and I can't wait to wear them with my rose gold piece so on another uh, place we went today was the strip mall and um, I love going to just commons and um, there's this one store there called five and below and um, I went there today to actually look for a facial brush. Um, the one that we actually have closer to us on Highway K and O'Fallon did not carry it yet. And I have been keeping my eye on this brush since Christmas. And luckily, I said, you know what, let me go to the one in Chesterfield and see if they're carrying theirs for the spring line. And I was so happy they did. Yay! So fresh, so clean. Can't wait to use this. And it was only $5. So I'm excited to add this guy to my uh, face wash regimen and see how things are going. I don't have any makeup on today. Um, I always go fresh face on Sundays. And um, I'm really excited to put this into my, um, my wash routine. And while we were at Five Below, I also got some more matte lipsticks. Yay, I'm excited to try these guys. I actually got four in the Wet n Wild matte. The first one is 
Bear It All. I'm excited to wear that. And then I have In The Flesh, which is this. You probably can't really tell, but I think I'm going to do a spring tutorial or a spring show me for those, for those, these colors. I also got the Mocha Licious, which is kind of that color here. And then I also got the, let's see here, Sugar Plum Fairy, which is a really pretty purpley brownish color. So I'm excited to try that. And I got a very pretty Mega Last Wet n Wild nail color for 99 cents as well. And that's this, and it's actually called Wet Cement, which it really does look like wet cement. That's that, it's kind of like brown, brownish, let's see what color, it's like a brownish purple, I will still say like that. And speaking of nails, I have to shout out my new nail salon here in O'Fallon. It's called Ocean Love the Nails, ladies. Check this out. So pretty. I love my nails. I love Olivia. Shout out to you guys. Um, they have uh, been new here. They've only been in this location for about two months now. And they have a special going on right now. 30% off of any nail services that you guys receive. Let me go ahead and give you guys the address. So I have her card. This is her card, Ocean Nails and Spa. You can see it's at 1316B Highway K in O'Fallon. And up until April, you can get 30% off of any of their services. And if you go there, you can also get a loyalty card, which I'm already started. So I'm excited for them. I'm excited for myself. They're close to home. Um, and I always try to patronize everyone in my area. And I'm also excited to try this color the next time that I am in. And I will let you guys see how I love my nails. So I'm excited about that. And speaking of um, just going back to my facial routine, I actually got uh, two things added to that to um, hopefully get deep down into my pores. Because I noticed that I've been um, not cleaning my face as well, especially at night when I'm taking all my makeup and stuff off. So I decided to get the L'Oreal Palace Go 360 Clean Ideal Clean Deep Facial Cleaner for sensitive skin, which I do have. And it came with the scrublet, the soft cleansing disc. So I'm excited to use that. As you can see, it's brand new. I haven't used it yet. So I'm happy to pair this, of course, since I can use this one in the shower, this one, and then use this one together and see how I like that this week. So I will let you guys know how that feels on Sunday. And last but not least, of course, I couldn't go out without picking up a few things for those spring days. Uh, and I'm so glad that I got them because I think in the next couple of weekends ahead of us, we're going to be having some nice weather. I picked up a few blouses from Rainbow. And um, I can't wait to wear that. I have been seeing a lot of the kind of like chiffon, the sheer, the rayon blouses. And I was able to pick me up a few. So let me show you the colors that I got. And I got... um actually four of them so here's the first one I got in this pretty pretty powder blue and I got the navy blue which is really good for evening wear it does have a scoop neck and they are high low as you can tell here the front and the back you can see the little sheer portion here I got this beautiful turquoise blue this one and this is a different style it does come in the front down with the sheer pattern and then lastly of course I got the classic black which is a different design the sheer portion is just at the top here and it has like a rolled cap sleeve and it is a high low but it's pretty much um, you know not see through all the way down to this portion so I was excited to grab these guys and I still think that would pair really nice with maybe even a pretty scar for a statement piece necklace or um a denim jacket maybe really pretty with the statement necklace so i like those and then for those really warm days i just couldn't pass this piece up my daughter samia loved it so i picked it up in the white and hot pink and i actually have a hot pink tank that will go underneath this and i also have a white one excuse the wrinkles but all of the blouses were 3.99 that's it four bucks for those shirts and then at five and below today, I actually picked up this little dress, which of course for me, I will pair with tights. 
but I got this little piece for five dollars today at Five Below, and it's a hot pink salmon and black and gray like little ring on shirt a spaghetti strap and a v-neck so I thought that would be very pretty on those soon to be warmer days can't wait for spring can't wait for spring so that's all that I have to show you guys this week um, I do have a poll up on my Facebook page creatively Shamika. check that out like and subscribe of course um, but I had a uh, poll going up for which purse to keep for the springtime. I have um, a bag from Charm and Charles, which is kind of like a rose gold with the gold accessories. And then I have a Christian Siriano, which I picked up in just a plain, beautiful, pale khaki. And um, you guys vote for me and tell me which one you think I should keep for that. And the votes that I get in, then I will go ahead and do a video for what's in my purse for spring 2016. But other than that, stay well. Stay healthy, stay active, stay wholesome in your community, get in church, guys. And I hope you have a blessed, wonderful week ahead. Thanks for tuning in with me for this episode of Sweet Tea Talk Sunday, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. <laughs>